In this skill, we're going to be converting between two different scales for temperature, Kelvin and degrees C. The Kelvin scale is based around the movement or kinetic energy of particles. So zero degrees Kelvin is the lowest possible temperature and that's where particles have no kinetic energy, they're not moving at all. The degrees Celsius or degrees C scale, that's based around the freezing point of water as zero degrees C. So degrees C is often a helpful scale to use in everyday life, but in science, Kelvin is a very useful scale. Now Kelvin and degrees C, each unit is worth the same. So an increase of one Kelvin is the same as an increase of one degree C, and the same with a decrease. So the size of those units are the same, but they have different starting points. So to convert between them, if we have something in degree C and we want to get it into Kelvin, we're going to have to add 273. That's going to get us our temperature in Kelvin. On the other hand, if we have something in Kelvin and we want to get it into degree C, we're going to subtract 273 to get into degree C. So that's the conversion we're going to do. So in this question, a liquid has a temperature of 604 Kelvin. We're trying to find the temperature in de degrees Celsius. So if we have 604 Kelvin, we know that subtracting 273 is going to get us our answer in degrees C. So if we do 604 minus 273, that's going to get us 331. And that's going to be our answer in degree C. In this question, a liquid has a temperature of negative 187 degrees C. We're trying to get this into Kelvin. So we're starting with negative 187 degrees C. We know that to get into Kelvin from degree C, we have to add 273. So if we do negative 187 plus 273, that's going to get us 86 Kelvin as our temperature. It might be useful for us to just have a quick think about what happens at zero degrees Kelvin or zero degrees C. So at zero Kelvin, if we want to convert that into degree C, we're going to do zero minus 273 to get from Kelvin to degree C. So that gets us negative 273 degrees C. On the other hand, if we have zero degrees C, we want to get that into Kelvin. We're going to do zero plus 273 to get 273 Kelvin. So we can see that the lowest possible temperature, the temperature where particles don't have any kinetic energy, they're not moving, would be zero de degrees Kelvin, which is the same as negative 273 degrees C. Whereas the freezing point of water, which is zero degrees C, that's also at 273 Kelvin.